Damn right. Healthier us. Talking about the scale. You need to weigh yourself. If you're trying to lose weight, you need to weigh yourself. You need to take some type of measurements. And the scale is the easiest way to do it with the measurements, right? So when you do it, get on there every day. Don't just do it once a week. I'm telling you, get on there every day. Just like all the other myths that people say, don't weigh yourself every day. No, what, why? Yes, weigh yourself every day so you have data. You wanna have information so you know what's going on. You don't wanna just uh, figure out, okay, I'll wait till the Saturday to weigh myself or whatever it is. No, weigh yourself every single day. Now don't go crazy though with the number. You gotta understand what the number's telling you. And I love people's like, well, muscle weighs more than fat and they ask all this, all this baloney. Listen, the number's the number, all right? Use the same scale every single day and weigh yourself at the same time, obviously, every day. And you can't just weigh yourself in the middle of the day with clothes on, right? So common sense there. And the way you need to think of it is this. Weigh yourself every day. At the end of the week, if you're down a half a pound or more, that's a great week. Now, the reason why I like to weigh myself every day is because if you just weigh yourself that one day, well, how do you know there's not just like a problem with the water that day? Maybe you had extra salt that day, right? So you had a lot of sodium and now you're retaining some water and now you're not down. You thought you actually are down a half a pound of fat, but you don't, it doesn't look like it because you have water weight. And so now you're deflated and now you're feeling, oh my God, all that work all week for nothing, right? That's what you're feeling. But actually you got results, but you don't see them on the scale. So if you weigh yourself every day and all of a sudden, you know, the day before your big weigh day, you were down to pound, and then now you're not down to pound, you probably are down to pound, but maybe you had more salt that day or something like that. So you weigh yourself every day. Now, this is very important. If you have your cheat day, understand that you will retain water for two to three days. So if I weigh myself on my, reg- my, my weekly weigh day, let's say, on Saturday morning, and I'm a 165 pounds, right? Then I have my cheat day Saturday, I have my cheat day Sunday, and on Monday, I weigh myself again. Well, now on Monday, I'm 170 pounds. I'm five pounds heavier than I was two days later. How's that possible? It's water weight. It's just water. Now, there are there is science behind how it works, but I don't want to get too technical, but basically if you have a lot of sodium, which most of us do on cheat days because you're having tons of salt, you're going to retain the water. But besides that, when you are, when your body is, is storing the sugar, right, as glycogen in your muscles and in your liver, especially in your muscles, that sugar, when it goes into the cell, it brings a water molecule with it. So then you're going to naturally retain water there. So if your glycogen's lower than usual because you're watching what you're eating, all of a sudden now you're eating more and more and more on the cheat cheat day, right? You're putting that sugar back in and it's bringing water with it. So now you're going to retain five pounds, six pounds. I mean, I remember that I've been seven pounds higher, seven pounds higher on a Monday than I was on Saturday morning. But then you know what happens? You weigh yourself on Monday, seven pounds higher. You weigh yourself on Tuesday. Okay, now if I was 172, now on Tuesday I'm 170. And then on Wednesday I'm 168. Oh my God, I'm losing two pounds a day? No, it's water. It's not fat. But then by the time I get back to Thursday, let's say, right, or Friday, I'm down to my weight I was last Saturday. So now I'm at 165 pounds on Friday. So I know that probably tomorrow morning on Saturday on my really good weighing day, I'm going to be down a pound. And I usually was every time down a pound. And if you're down a pound, that's a victory, right? So now the next Saturday I was 164 pounds. So I went, lost a pound, but the scale was like, I was up seven, then I was down five and then I'm this five. You know, it's going crazy, crazy because it's water weight, but you're just worried about the fat. So weigh yourself every day because you don't want to get deflated. If all of a sudden the number's not right because you had too much sodium a day before that or whatever. And obviously you want to keep water, drinking water, but don't go crazy drinking the water. Drink it. If you're thirsty, drink it, you know, but don't go nuts. I always just tried to keep my water level high just because I didn't want to get a false reading on the scale because I was depleted of all my water, right? Because I got it all out of my system. I know that water weight can work both ways. You can have too much and you can have too little. So I tried to just keep it even keel. So weigh yourself every day. You got to measure yourself. Good luck.